hi beautifuls welcome back and here i am with another video for you guys this look is a little bit harder but i do try to explain step by step so that way you guys can see how i came up with this look so if you guys are interested in seeing how i did this look or what products i used you guys can stay tuned and keep on watching Okay, so going in with the vintage shade from the BH Cosmetics times Daisy Marquez. And then I am taking the brush R. Oh my God, it doesn't even have the number no more. I just know it starts with an R. But this brush is from Morphe and it's one of my favorites as well. And I'm just going inside my crease and just patting and then doing circular motions back and forth. For my next shade, it is from the Soft Nude Palette from Trend Beauty. You guys, these palettes are so bomb. I keep telling you guys, but they really are. And they're only $12.50. Like, hello, that is such an awesome price. Um, this palette doesn't have the names, but I am taking the light shade, as you guys can see. And that's just going to be my transitioning color. And as well, I'm just going back and forth doing circular motions. Okay, so taking the shade Vintage again, I'm just blending everything together, going back and forth, and just seeing wherever I do have to apply a little bit more color, just so it can look a little bit more blended. To cut my crease, I'm using the Fit Me from Maybelline, and I'm in the shade Tan. This is the lightest shade I believe that they have, and the reason I got this one is just so it can make my eyeshadow pop a little bit more. And as you guys can see, I'm just cutting it little by little, not doing it like in one whole section because I do want it as sharp as I can get it. Okay, so for my next step, I will be taking the NYX Matte Eyeliner. And as you guys can see, I'm starting off like a normal, regular eyeliner look. And I do take it up maybe like a third of the way. Or is that even a third of the way? I don't even know. I suck at math and I hate math. But um, I do draw it out as thick as I want. I do want it a little bit thicker for this look. And then after that, I do apply some black shadow and just apply it on top of the eyeliner just so it can give me that matte finished look. So once I have the black blended out, then I do take a brown shade and just blend it in with the black shade. Then after that, I do take the Passion Fruit from Daisy Marquez palette. Then after that one, I do go back to the soft nude and use the same shade that we use that light brown and just mix it in with that maroon shade. So after applying that eyeshadow, I will be taking the shade Dulce from the Daisy Marquez palette. You guys, this is my favorite eyeshadow because it goes with any eyeshadow, literally. And then as you guys can see in the front, I am cutting my crease just in the very front. And I am using the Morphe White Concealer. And this is just to give me that extra pop because I am applying some matte white shadow. And then the lashes that I am using are Ariana from Bella Eyes Inc. And I do have a discount code, which is Ruby Lay. You guys can save a little bit of money with that. And then I am just cleaning up my eyeliner with that white concealer as well. So for my under eyes, I am taking the shade Vintage first, blending that out, and then taking the shade Dulce and blending that out, blending everything together in the bottom, just so it can give me that really nice transitioning shade. And you guys already know my favorite highlight at the moment is the Trend Beauty Unicorn Dust. And I am going in with the Mystical, just applying it inside my inner corner and then on my brow bone, and then on my cheekbone. All right, my love, so this is it for this video. Hopefully y'all understood me. I tried explaining it as much as I could. It doesn't, I mean, how can I say this? It looks harder than what it is, 
but it's really not that hard. And guys, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I am giving the Daisy Marquez Times BH Cosmetics palette. So you guys still have time to enter. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.